行きますよもう逃げられないぞそこまでだまだまだやるしかないのか Objection!
Ivanovna Ignatieva. If you are hearing this, it means the mission of my people still has hope of success. Hope for God, but do not be reliant. Oh, maybe this is all waste of time. What are you even after? You just love killing dinosaurs. Lights your fire, does it? Or are you in it for the more dangerous prey? Your fellow man. Aruba also wants to take Leviathan out of the picture. So she wanted us to get to that control platform. She was trying to give us something. Science knew all about Leviathan's malfunctions. I, I, I know what Durbin's going to do. He's going to stab Signs in the back! I will control the future. This war game ends when I decide. If I just exist in more time, they are making my world again. I still have hope. Very unlikely, I know. But it is you I rely on now, comrade. To stop their world to be. My hope became your curse. Stop the cycle. Destroy all of my life. Take me back to my world. Hi everyone, I'm Takaro Hiraoka, the director of EXO Primal. First, I'd like to thank everyone who participated in the second open beta test we held in June. Once again, EXO fighters from all over the world joined the war games and gave us some excellent feedback. Your comments help us make EXO Primal the best game it can be. Thank you all so much. Now then, I have some updates to share since launch is just around the corner. Let me begin by briefly explaining what players can expect from Exo Primal. Exo Primal is an online, team-based action game that pits humanity's cutting-edge exosuit technology against history's most ferocious beasts, dinosaurs. The main game mode, Dino Survival, sees two teams of five players strive to be the first to complete all objectives. Generally, this means fighting dinosaurs, but there are also times where exo fighters battle head to head. Not to mention some situations where everyone's on a 10 player team. Playing Dino Survival rewards players with story progress, experience points, and in game currency. Also, players can customize exosuits' appearance and even upgrade their performance. Of course, upgraded exosuits will make Dino Survival that much more fun. But powered up exosuits also allow players to tackle the high difficulty missions in Savage Gauntlet mode. Next, I'd like to introduce a feature that is a direct result of your feedback. On release day, we'll be implementing a final mission selection feature. Let me explain how it works. After reaching a certain amount of progress by playing Dino Survival, you will be able to select one of three final mission types when matchmaking. PvP, PvE, and Random. There are a few exceptions, but selecting PvE generally means that final missions will not involve PvP combat. Instead, whichever team completes all missions fastest will be victorious. Of course, Players who select PvP can expect the same mission variety that was available in the beta tests. Although your final mission selection preference won't impact story progress, selecting the random option will provide an experience point bonus. And don't worry, you can change your selection preference at any time. PvE, PvP, or random. Choose whatever mode suits your mood. Now I'd like to talk about Exoprimal's roadmap for release day and beyond. 
Exoprimal will feature in-game seasons that are three months long. Each season will come with a title update that adds new game content. The Survival Pass will be overhauled with new rewards each season. Season 1 will kick off on launch day, July 14th. We'll be introducing the new Savage Gauntlet mode just two weeks later on July 28th. You'll want to upgrade and better understand your exosuits before attempting Savage Gauntlet. We also have a new video for you to enjoy. Chief Lorenzo is inspecting the new equipment. Jedi Alpha eliminates enemies with two different attacks. Zephyr Alpha can strike distant enemies thanks to the Dragon Chakra. Barrage Alpha's rocket launcher can blow your enemies to bits. Fine. Vigilant Alpha's semi-automatic rifle meets the need for accurate suppressive fire. Roadblock Alpha's deployable shield frees you up to defend and fight. For max stopping power, try Krieger Alpha's chargeable shotgun. Murasame Alpha's ice cold counters lock down enemies so allies can bring the pain. Witch Doctor Alpha's duality beam heals allies and harms enemies. Need to stop them in their tracks. Rain down lightning with Skywave Alpha. Nimbus Alpha's shotguns rank number one in close combat. Exo Primal's first title update will go live on August 16th. And get this, we're adding 10 Alpha Variant Exosuits all at once. Alpha Variant Exosuits feature completely different weapons and playstyles from their default counterparts. Put Alpha Suits to good use in Dino Survival and Savage Gauntlet. Season 2 will begin in mid-October. Of course, Title Update 2 will drop at the same time. This update will feature the Street Fighter VI collaboration content we recently announced. We'll also be adding new rigs and modules, a new map, a new final mission, and more. Season 3 is scheduled to start in January 2024. Beta variant suits will be added, along with the terrifyingly powerful Neo Triceratops. We also plan on conducting our second Capcom collaboration during Season 3 with the Monster Hunter series. Keep an eye out for more info on that down the road. The Exoprimal team has a ton of great stuff in the works, but I can't say much more at the moment. So, that'll be all for now. We sure covered a lot of ground today. Remember, Exoprimal launches on July 14th. Not only will you enjoy pulse-pounding action as dinosaurs and exosuits collide, you'll also see the story of the Hammerheads through to the thrilling conclusion. As I mentioned earlier, we plan on supporting Exoprimal with new content even after the game's release. We'll have more information on future content updates at a later date. Until then, we hope to see you in the war games. It'll be massively fun!